Katie Mellowa made her first album, Call Off the Search, at the age of just 18. The album, on tiny independent label Dramatico, went to number one and sold 1.9 million copies in the UK and 3 million worldwide. This is the closest thing to crazy I have ever Acting 17. The second album, Piece by Piece, was even more successful. Also going to number one in the UK, but breaking out internationally, where it achieved many number one positions, selling over 3.5 million copies. There are nine million bicycles in Beijing. That's a fact. Last year, Katie was the biggest selling UK female artist in the world. She has traveled and toured extensively, performing at the Kremlin, in South Africa with Queen for Nelson Mandela's AIDS charity, in Beijing for a TV audience of 100 million, at the bottom of the North Sea inside the leg of a gas rig, and several times at Buckingham Palace. Now, aged 22, Katie releases her third album, Pictures, a fascinating and diverse collection of new songs. This short film gives an insight into the making of the new album. The one thing I've learned from you know, making three albums now is you just don't know what's gonna happen and often the best bits occur you know, halfway through the, the song's making. So you kind of have to sort of almost take a leap of faith and trust that um, you know, something magical will happen and often it does. Mary Pickford used to eat roses Thought that they'd make her beautiful and they do Mary Pickford was a song that got written because Mike had this calendar where he had different facts written on it and uh, one of them was uh, that Mary Pickford used to eat roses and he thought that it was a really great song title just like he did it with Nine Million Bicycles and he wrote the song Douglas Fairbanks, he was so handsome He wore a moustache, must have had much cash too Worth the king's ransom Charlie Chaplin, he was invited When these artists became united To me, I thought it would be a song about vanity because she used to eat roses as she thought she could get their beauty but he took a completely different twist on it. He sort of surprised me and made the song about all the first sort of huge Hollywood actors and artists who got together to form their own independent film company called United Artists. It was Charlie Chaplin, Mary Pickford, Douglas Fairbanks and D.W. Griffith. When these artists became united reason why it strikes a chord with us is because I'm on an independent label and uh, you know we've always tried to do it the indie way and their story is kind of inspiring to us. Right. The album's called Pictures and the wonderful photographer that's been taking the pictures is Simon Fowler who did the album covers for the second album. He did a lot of the pictures for the first album as well. I don't really love having my picture taken and it's nice to work with someone that you know and that knows you and, and knows that you're not a big fan of taking pictures and uh, respects it and, and somehow, somehow manages to get good stuff out of me. With this photo shoot we you know we, we had a lot of different setups which was quite unusual to the other photo shoots that I'd done with him. We try to get some of the pictures to represent the songs and the lyrics in, in some of the songs. So we've got the Charlie Chaplin idea we had where I dressed up as Charlie Chaplin because of the song Mary Pickford. And Simon loved that idea and so we went with it. Mike, that worked lovely, bars sort of 51 and 55, but in bar 13 and 14, 
the mm -hmm. chord stays on an F and I think the strings change to the C over E and the B flat so and that kind of um, didn't work. Oh that's true. I used to not really be able to co-write with others very well but on this third album I think I've kind of gotten over that and uh, I'm trying you know to write with others and I think one of the most successful results of that is probably the song What I Miss About You, which I co-wrote with Andrea McEwen. Missing the train every morning at 8.52 Sipping coffee from the same cup as you The sharing of secrets we thought no one else knew That's what To me, why this song kind of works is because it's a song that you think is a lovely, sort of nice uh, love song about missing an ex, but in fact it isn't. It's actually quite an angry song, and you realise that as the song goes on. The way I only doubted myself when I was with you Scary Films is a, like a rocky blues track. Zombies marching through the mist Make me think of being kissed And I don't care when people's heads End up being 